Steve, welcome back to Clear Direct. You all know Ani. This is part two of the West Coast Fly-In Wine Series. We're super excited to go to Halter Ranch today in Paso Robles. This is what general aviation is all about. Finding destinations that are a little bit too far away to comfortably drive or too close to take the airlines. Meet awesome new people and have fun adventures. So today they have a runway on their vineyard. They've had it for a number of years. It's a very historical ranch property. The unique thing about today is that they are just opening up pilot accommodations. See before, you could take other people pick up your wine club membership of bottles of wine and go home. But today we actually get to taste the wine and stay at the vineyards. It's going to be 105 degrees in Paso. So what do you say? Let's get going and test out the AC and those new pilot accommodations. Dead traffic and the four stroke off bank taking runway one six for a straight out departure event. Uh, Alright, we're start starting our descent into the Halter Ranch area. We're being mindful of Paso Robles airfield. Uncontrolled, but getting their information, getting their weather. We got light winds out of the north, got the altimeter in there, and then we're being extra mindful of the restricted airspace. It's just north of Halter Ranch, and it also resides underneath uh, a MOA, which is actually cold. So even if it was hot, you know, I could go in there with using caution, but not the restricted airspace. I asked Oakland Center, if they'd prefer me to transition east or west of that restricted airspace, they said it didn't matter. So we're going to transition to the west, a little bit shorter route. And San Luis Obispo looks like it's still fogged in. Oakland Center, Bonanza is 4 0 golf mic. If there's no traffic observed, uh, I can uh, get out of your hair. Here, golf mic, no traffic observed between uh, you and the Halster Branch Airport. Radar services are terminated. Spock VFR changed to advisory frequency to prove. Have a good weekend. Thanks so much. You do the same. Bonanza 4 0 golf mic. Cheers. Alter Ranch traffic, Bonanza 4 0 Golf Plank is about 10 miles to the north. We'll be overflying the field here in about four minutes, probably landing out of a uh, right traffic for runway four, Alter. Now the chore is to find the runway. I'm going to set my heading bug to 040. And it's beautiful. 2,500 feet. All right, I think I see the state. Oh, I see it. We're about to go right over oh, yeah, top yeah, yeah. of it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we're flying over top sure. of it right now. Backcountry training coming in handy. <laughs> yeah, these hills. Halter Ranch traffic, Bonanza 4 0 Golf Link, right base, runway 4, Halter Ranch. Nice wide. Awesome. Yeah. Just taxi next to these vineyards. Yeah, a little railroad track to the left. Watch out there, squirrel. Let's go say hi to Kevin. Gracie met us, and we are being whisked off to meet my old high school friend Kevin Sass. He's the winemaker here at Halter Ranch. I'm excited to see him after. Oh, 25 years or so. Kevin, long time no see, brother. How you doing? Good. Agora Chargers, 1994, right? That's right, that's Fres right, dude. Fresno State, is that right? Fresno State, yeah. Little baseball. Little yeah. baseball there. I uh, spent 10 years over at Justin, and then right when they sold. Alright, 
right, just time for a quick freshen up. I will give you a full tour of the cabin later because we got to get going to our lunch and tasting. And we have the crew car, Forerunner. So let's go. about to start the tasting and have some lunch. The beautiful view of the vineyard and way out there you can see my airplane. Okay, that's gonna finish really nice and dry. Uh, our still rosé is gonna have the same wild uh, strawberry. I lightly <laughs> 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 Well, I didn't even introduce, this is Gracie. She's the head of marketing at Halter Ranch, is that yes. right? Yeah, marketing manager. She's a fellow yeah. poly grad, awesome. Yes, love Cal Poly. But, uh, but thank you so much for everything. Of course. She's gonna, yeah. she's gonna make her way out and enjoy her lovely weekend and leave yeah. us to kind of terrorize the grounds here. This <laughs> yeah, is I know. so amazing. Terrorize away. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Hi, I'm Timothy. <laughs> and you are here to do what? I do a lot of front of the house stuff, but uh, my favorite part is driving the 1984 Land Rover Defender uh, and what? taking people out and exploring 3,000 acres. Beautiful west side Paso Robles. Oh my gosh. We're going to do it. Whew, it is not cold outside. Oh, it feels, I think it feels great. 89CA is a private airstrip, so you need permission to land here, which you can request at their website, halterranch.com. They're closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but outside of those days, they'll happily approve your request to visit. They love airplanes. They treat visiting pilots like VIPs and are eager to entertain special requests, such as breakfast. I'm going to talk about some threats to be aware of, but don't let this scare you away. They're all considerations that make flying into Halter Ranch that much more rewarding. As always, have a contingency plan, knowing that Paso Robles has plenty of concrete and support just 11 miles east. Don't be too intimidated if San Luis Obispo has fog. It's pretty rare that the marine layer makes it all the way over the hills. Now watch out for vultures riding thermals. These birds will leave a mark if you hit one. The midfield windsock is pretty hard to spot airborne. Get the winds at Paso Robles ASOS. As far as I can tell, no one on the ground is monitoring the CTAF of 122.85. I'd recommend planning to fuel up after your visit. You'll be happy to have a lower gross weight on departure. Paso Robles has some of the cheapest gas in the region at over a dollar less per gallon than what I pay up in Bend, Oregon. The staff is careful to not drive on the runway, but it's always smart to do a clearing pass. There'll be a lot of squirrels running around, but we didn't manage to hit any as far as I know. The hardest thing about the approach was spotting the runway. I knew it'd be a challenge approaching it from roughly a 90 degree angle, but once we found it, it was simply a gorgeous approach with calm winds and only a few birds to avoid. If the winds support landing runway 04, use that runway as it has a nice upslope to save your brakes. But honestly, I never even touched my brakes as it's quite a long runway at over 3,300 feet. Treat the first 500 feet as a displaced threshold since the estate sits just under the approach end. If you don't have any backcountry training, just make a nice wide pattern, keeping an eye out for rising terrain all around. If you're arriving late in the day, the long shadows could hide some threats and create some visual illusions. The go-around options are plenty, but I'd recommend giving yourself a latest touchdown point of, I don't know, midfield, depending on your type's performance. So what's the story with this beautiful oak? So this is the largest coastal live oak in the world. Arborists reckon this is somewhere between 650 and 750 years old. Wow. Oh, the pig's from Compton? Straight out of Compton. <laughs> Speaking of performance, keep an eye on the density altitude. With how hot it can get, it can rise significantly. That said, the field's at 1,500 feet. Crosswinds could make this approach and landing very challenging for two reasons. First, the surrounding terrain could swirl up the winds, making for pretty inconsistent winds and lots of bumps. Second, the runway is fairly narrow with vines to the east and a mini railroad track to the west, so there's not a large buffer for drifting off the imaginary center line. Oh. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. So like I was telling you, Kevin's a big brewer, right? So we are going to make our own beer. Oh. Yes. Oh. This is... Some of our olive oil agent. <laughs> wow. It's just like, I don't know, Hannibal Lecter at the end of the... It does go well with fava beans. Bring your own tie downs, but don't plan on spinning anything into that hard clay. The winds were light during our stay, so chocks worked just fine. I love doing it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Wow, we sure did. Thank Thanks. you so much. 
For departure considerations, if the wind supports it, depart the opposite direction using runway 22 to limit your exposure to the squirrel threat on a long downhill taxi while riding brakes. But don't let that stop you from taking off the, to the north if the winds require it. The runway surface is not perfect, but it's not horrible. I'd consider using short and soft field takeoff techniques, which gave me plenty of altitude by the end of the runway to feel very comfortable and to easily outclimb the surrounding terrain. If you can't, plan on hugging one side of the valley and making a gentle 360 or 270 to gain enough altitude. The surrounding hills are about 500 feet above the strip. Now it's readily apparent that Halter Ranch is not owned by a large beverage conglomerate trying to maximize profits. Everyone on staff sings the praises of the owner Hans Jörg Weiss, who is a known conservationist and nature lover. He bought over 2,700 acres, only using 200 for sustainable vineyards, walnut, and olive groves, leaving the rest for you to discover the untouched natural beauty in the Land Rover Defender. In fact, there are wildlife corridors to lower the impact to the critters. The food is organic and locally sourced, if not grown right on site. Wildlife is just great. Hoping to hear some more of the coyotes. All right, so a quick tour of the cottage. November 232 Tango Juliet. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Looks familiar, huh? Definitely a nice king size bed. So kind of a studio feel, right? So before we get into the kitchen, they do have AC and they do have a ceiling fan. So that is fantastic, especially for this time of year. Some storage there and a nice well appointed kitchen to include a gas range, oven, microwave, coffee pot, coffee grinder, some nice knives, sink, nice big fridge, and a full bathroom. I really like that there's a stereo, Bluetooth stereo. They even have laundry. And here's the swing. Pilot buddies fly in, have a fantastic time drinking some wine, some amazing food, and staying in these cottages. What a day! We're enjoying our porch, having a cheese board, enjoying some of the awesome wines that we tasted today. We've got the 2018 Ancestor and the 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon. It's not too bad. I mean, it's still low 90s here, but it's cooling off rapidly, which is part of the diurnal shift, which is part of the magic about this place as far as the grapes go. I'm not going to pretend to <laughs> understand all of it, but it stresses the grapes. It gets really, really hot and cools off nicely at night. I'm going to put down the camera and just really enjoy the rest of this evening. And then tomorrow, 10 a.m., chef's going to make us breakfast and then pack up the plane and then hopefully the wind isn't too strong out of the north because I'd love to take off to the south or the southwest and um, and take advantage of the downhill and then probably do kind of one 360 spiral up over the over the mountains but more on that tomorrow tonight it's just enjoying our wonderful magical place see you in the morning well good morning it's a wonderful night how'd you sleep so good we're just gonna hop on over to the tasting room for uh, whatever chef whipped up. So I'm excited to see what he did. And then over to the airplane and then hop, skip it a jump over to Paso Robles where their gas is over a dollar cheaper per gallon than in Bend. So I will top off to the gills and then make our way back to Oregon. Thank you. Oh, great. There's the chef. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How was your stay here last night? So Wonderful. A salad of zucchini and yellow squash. <laughs> and then tomatoes. So all that was harvested this morning. Oh my gosh. Uh, the Amazing. arugula. Harvested this morning? <laughs> harvested this morning. <laughs> and uh, the only thing that's not on there that we didn't make was the uh, parmesan cheese that's on top. So <laughs> welcome to Halter Ranch. <laughs> What's your name? How's it going? My name is Paul, uh, chef here at Halter Ranch. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. The way I understand it is the tasting room is closed, but for fly-in guests, they want to provide a meal for the pilot, so they'll open it up and make you breakfast. So we got the tasting room to oh ourselves. This is, what do we do to deserve this? Become the pilot. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Hey. Marry him. <laughs> there you go. Bye guys, thank you for everything. Tell, tell Chef that was amazing and delicious, so Absolutely. I'll see him soon. We'll All right, bye-bye. Oh, that was so good. Okay, so let's see.
there are some birds circling kind of on the departure end, so we're going to look out for those. They like to hang out just to the, uh, what is that, the east side of the departure end, so watch out for that. And then there's this hill right here that's just off the departure end to the left, but bigger hills to the west. So the plan is to take off up this valley at, you know, kind of VX, um, and then turn around that way. If we need to do, we'll hug, hug the terrain to be able to do a quick mountain turnaround if we need to, but we'll plan on just going up that valley right there. It's not as hot today, so density altitude is a little bit lower. Okay, back into flying mindset. She got there. Precious cargo. Heck yeah. <laughs> Robles direct. Cycle some oil through the prop. Halt the ranch traffic, Bonanza 40 Golf Link. Departing runway 22, straight ahead and then uh, left up the valley to pass the Robles, halt the ranch. Here we go with our left hand turn. Props coming back. Everybody's happy. Minding the restricted airspace, not a factor, so we can go direct to Paso Robles. We're well south of, south of the restricted airspace. Paso Robles traffic, Bonanza 40 Golf Link on an extended left base for runway 01, traffic permitting. Paso Robles. That thing's gorgeous. That's over the traffic. Bonanza 40 Golf Mike is off of runway 01 at Charlie. We'll hold of Alpha for Cal Fire. Uh, taxi into the fuel tanks. Thanks. It's kind of going around. The fuel pumps are breaking, and the nice guys are feeling us up for self serve prices at both Bend and Paso Robles, but it's been awesome. I got the cowl open. Big Continentals don't like to start when they're hot, so it's just cooling off. Hopefully, it'll start just fine. We'll be back in Bend before you know it. But we're going to sign it off here. Thanks for joining Ani and me on. Episode two, thanks to Halter Ranch. It was such an amazing okay. experience. We are looking forward to episode three, either Walla Walla, Washington, or Western Oregon. Until next time, you are clear the rest. Ow. Oh, close.